Okay, you have now finished reading chapter seven, part one, and you are ready to begin direct instruction. Again, you should only be on this page if you've already read chapter seven, part one of Lupita Mignogna. Now we're going to create a circle map to brainstorm the significant events in the novel thus far. So this is our third week talking about significant events. Remember that an event is significant. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start my circle map with significant. If I can spell. Event. Okay. And then you're going to make to do this with one hand. Then you're going to make a circle, a big circle outside, so it looks kind of like a donut. Um, in my case, an obscure donut, right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> remember, let's put some measures of significance around the outside of our circle map. It has to have an effect. So it has an effect. We'll know it's significant if it has an effect. Okay. Um, it's significant if it creates a new emotion. This should be review for us because we've talked about these significant measures before. Um, an event is significant if it changes people's thinking. Okay. Another way it's significant if it shows a different perspective. Okay. Event an event is another way to tell if it's significant is let's see, we have it has an effect, it creates a new emotion. Shows a different perspective, changes people's thinking. Um, it changes um, the way you see issues, the way people see issues. And another one is it causes someone to act. Those are some ways we would know some things are significant. So think about the novel so far, Lupita Mignogna. We're in chapter seven. What are some things that have had an effect or created a new emotion, changed the way people think, or caused someone to act? Okay, there's lots of events that meet those criteria. The first one that we talked about many times before is that Lupita's mom was missing from the hotel. So that's one that we've talked a lot about because it has an effect on Lupita and it also creates new emotions. It did, it made Lupita worried and Salvador worried, okay? Um, another thing that happened, of course, that's significant is that Mr. Torres died. Okay? Um, that uh, has an obvious effect on the family. Another one that some students have said is the fact that they live in poverty. And this is part of um, the significance of the setting, right? So they live in poverty. If they hadn't been so poor, they also wouldn't have had to go to America, right? So because they live in poverty, they, it causes them to act and it has an effect on the family okay they live in they live poor <laughs> that's what i should not have said they live in poverty way to use academic language miss donaldson right okay what are some other events that have happened one thing is that they met bartolo right okay they also followed, they tried to cross the border once by following Tomas, right? So we could say, met Tomas. 
that had an effect on them. They met Bartolo, right? Oh, and who did they meet on the train? Or actually, probably a more significant event is that they hid in the flower bin, I'll call it for lack of a better word. Right? On the train. I'm going to say on the train. So we know what Miss Donaldson is talking about. Okay? These are some significant events that have happened so far that have had effects and created new emotions. Okay? I want you to add, you see there's space here, add one or two more events. So I'm going to put right here an asterisk and an asterisk. These are spots where you need to add one or two events that have happened so far that are significant. Okay, go ahead and hit pause and add those two events. When you're ready to move on, you can hit play and be ready to go to the guided practice. Guided practice. Now we're going to choose one significant event and create an effect map to list the outcomes. The outcomes are what happened as a result of the event that make the event significant. Don't forget to cite examples from the text for each outcome. Okay, so let's start by creating our cause and effect map. We're just going to do the effect side. So I know that my significant event is going to go on this side. Okay, then the outcomes or the things that happen, remember effects are the what happened, are going to be on this side. So I'm going to label these outcomes or the what, right? And we need at least three. Okay, today I'm going to give you two, and you're going to need to come up with one that's going to be your independent practice today. So I'm just going to let you know right now, wherever I put an asterisk, that's where you need to come up with one on your own. So first, let's choose a significant event. So we've talked about Lupita's mom um, not being there. We've talked about the dad dying. Um, we've looked at the setting, things like that that have affected. Well, let's pick one that has happened recently. So if we look back over at our cause and effect, or our circle map, um, for them meeting Bartolo, that's something new that we could do, or hiding in the flower bin on the train. That is also something that causes an effect, right? Um, has an effect on them being able to hide there. So I'm going to just go ahead and choose meeting Bartolo. So I'm going to circle it so I know that's what I'm going to write about. Since this has a huge effect on them, right? So the first thing I want to do is find a quote. Because whenever we quote... Um, write about significant events, we need to quote it straight from the novel. So I know the event I'm going to talk about is meeting Bartolo. So I'm going to write meeting Bartolo. Then I'm going to go look in my book and find the page, the exact page, where they meet. So if we look back in chapter 6 on page 74, this is where Salvador for first meets Bartolo. They're actually in the marketplace, um, Salvador and Lupita together. And Salvador's walking away, walking through the marketplace, and he hears, Hola, Salvador, Torres, hola, Salvador. Who could it be? Bewildered, Salvador stopped, rolled around, and stood waiting as a gangling youth came shouldering his way through the market crowd toward them. Bartolo! Hola, Bartolo! Salvador smiled for the first time in days. Lupita, it is Bartolo from Ensenada. I heard he came here to Tijuana. I went to school with him. Okay, so this is where they first meet each other. So we want to pick a quote that sort of shows this significant event. So I'm going to write down what, Lupi what Salvador tells Lupita. Lupita, it is Bartolo from Ensenada. So this is sort of our introduction. If you remember that vocabulary word, introduce. This is where we're first introduced to Bartolo. And we know that he's from their same hometown. So we're going to write down Lupita, it is Bartolo from Ensenada. And we're going to quote or cite that that's from page 74. Go ahead and write that now. Now that we've quoted our significant event, we want to think of some outcomes or what has happened um, as an effect of this event happening. So what things have happened in the novel because they met Bartolo and he's from Ensenada? For one thing, <clears throat> we know that Salvador can trust him. So what does Salvador trust Bartolo to do? He is the person that gives them the new plan to go to the United States. So he um, 
because they meet Bartolo, they now have a new plan to cross the border. Right? This is, they've already tried once with Tomas and it failed. So now they have a new plan. And don't forget, we want to include examples from the book. So let's look back in the book and see if we can find some examples. If you look on the next page, page 75, after they meet Bartolo, it's where Salvador comes back and tells Lupita the plan, the first step of the plan. He says, the sky is clearing, Lupita. When the moon rises, we will leave here. And she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's, she's confused. Have you found work? Have you found a place for us to live? And he says, no, we are going over there tonight. Okay, so I'm going to use that as my piece of evidence that um, supports that they made a new plan. Okay, so you can see that I've written down my two pieces of evidence. We are going over there tonight, and when the moon rises, we will leave here. And I cited both page numbers, those are both from page 75, as my evidence to support that <clears throat> they have a new plan to cross the border. So what's another outcome from this significant event that Lupita, that they meet Bartolo, right? And one is that they have a new plan across the border. And then another effect, another outcome of them meeting Bartolo is his actual plan to get them over the border, which was to what? Put them in a vegetable truck, right? So they could sneak across the border. So let's use that as our second outcome. They hide in a veggie, I've shortened it, vegetable, a veggie truck to sneak across the border. Go ahead and write that in, and then let's look in our book and see if we can find some pieces of evidence to support that they are hiding in a vegetable truck is an outcome of them meeting Bartolo. Okay, in page 77, if you turn to your books on page 77, or just look on here, you can see there's lots of evidence of their plan um, to justify their plan is a new is an outcome, excuse me, of them meeting Bartolo. It says, an instant later, Salvador and Bartolo lifted her into the truck. It was filled with big crates constructed out of slots. She could see they were filled with vegetables. So there's one example. And then you can see um, inside were small, green, round things, Brussels sprouts. He scooped out a hollow place, then said to Lupita, get in there and lie down on your stomach. Turn your head to one side so you can breathe. So she did it, and then it says they covered her up with the vegetables. So there's another example from the book that we can cite as evidence that they did hide in a vegetable truck to sneak across the border. And it was because they met Bartolo that they were able to do that. So let's write down our evidence to prove that this was an outcome of him, them meeting Bartolo. Okay, you can see that I have cited page 77 with just one piece of evidence this time. Salvador and Bartolo lifted her into the truck filled with vegetables. So we know this is this um, citing from the book proves that they hid in a vegetable truck to sneak across the border, and it was as a result of meeting um, Bartolo. Okay, now what you need to do is come up with one more outcome or what happened because they met Bartolo. Think about the fact that they had a new plan, they hid in a vegetable truck. What happened next because they met Bartolo? What happened from them hiding in this vegetable truck? Did they make it? Did they not make it? Did they, where did they end up? Any of those sort of things have to do with them meeting Bartolo, right? Because he's the reason that they had this plan. So anything that happened from the plan happened from meeting Bartolo. So you can use anything that happened after this because of this, which also stems from this, okay? Use that. Don't forget to add at least one piece of evidence from the text. If you um, want to do an advanced answer, you can add two. Make sure you write down the page number where you get the example that proves your outcome, okay? Go ahead and do that now. When you're ready to move on, turn over to the exit slip and I'm gonna walk you through the exit slip today.